Hi guys, good day to you all. It's your girl Violet Emma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'll be talking about story. I've been having lots of questions from fans out there like Violet, can you get pregnant? Violet, do you see a period? Violet, can you have sex? Okay, let me answer these three questions. There are lots of questions, but let me just answer these three questions first of all. Yes, I can get pregnant. Of course, yes, I can. But it's what they call high-risk pregnancy. Very, very high-risk. For me to be thinking of getting pregnant now, it's very dangerous for my health. Okay, and as for the period, yes, of course, I see my period monthly. But in some ladies, it actually stops their period. Like, they don't see their period because of edema. And as for the sex, yes, of course, you can have sex with every other normal lady out there. Yes, scleroderma does not limit us from having sex, although it makes it very painful for us sometimes because of the dryness of the body, like including the skin. Just as the skin is dry, so the body is as dry as well. Okay, let me talk about scleroderma a little bit. For those of you who don't know what scleroderma is, Scleroderma is a skin disease that affects the body, the connective tissues. It is a result of too, too much production of collagen in the body. So the body is fighting against itself. What's meant to protect the body is what is fighting the body. Scleroderma affects the whole body, the face, the hands, look at my hands. They are closed because of scleroderma. Every part of the body cuts. And so, Scleroderma is a people say it's rare, but for me, for now, we say scleroderma is not rare because lots of people are there have scleroderma. Some already know why some don't even know they have it, but yes, there's a sign and the face of scleroderma is very easy to know. Like once you see someone with scleroderma and you have scleroderma, you know that this person is having scleroderma or is having lupus. Lupus is another I call it a twin sister or twin brother to scleroderma. As similar as lupus and steroidema, the both of them are under autoimmune diseases. So please subscribe to my channel. I'll be here some other time to talk more about steroidema and other autoimmune diseases. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for liking and thanks for the comment. I love you all. See you all next time. Remember, I'm Violet Emma. You can catch me on Facebook, Violet Emma Onisha, Instagram, Violet Emma Onisha, TikTok, Violet Emma. Okay, see you all. I love you all.